Friday at Pizza Flicks. Director John Patrick Hayes is best known for his drive-in classics Dream No Evil, Garden of the Dead, or Grave of the Vampire. But today we visit a different type of horror, The Hell of War, with Beach Dickerson, Frank Leo, and Pamela Gray in her final film. Requested this? My brother's here. Brother or no brother, this is a pretty tough outfit to transfer into. One lousy grenade, a jerry with a machine gun hanging from a tree, and your mother's got no sons. Well, no mother's gonna miss us. I met him in an orphanage. Whenever any prospective parents would show up, we'd do our best to act like stinkers. That way nobody ever picked us. What happened? Graduation. Thanks. Therefore, the decision that Private John C. Wade, 322-70539, be awarded the Bronze Star. Wade, you've certainly had your share of frontline duty. If we weren't shorthanded, I'd have sent you back long before this. Won't be long, though, before you're sipping lemonade or playing ping pong with some army nurse. Congratulations, Wade. Thank you, sir. Johnny! Johnny! Gil! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I, I saw your name on a roster, and I got a friend of mine to pull a few wires on one of your replacements. <laughs> hey, where you been? To a Halloween party? No, no, it's a real thing. I'm a hero. Oh, where can we talk? Do you like sidewalk dining? It's a perfect day for it. 
Uh, would you be my guest? Delighted. <laughs> Reporting, sir. At ease, Rance. What's on your mind? What's about getting my stripes back, Major? Now, Rance, let's not waste your time or mine. You're a good soldier, but you've been broken three times already. Promoting you is just kind of useless. I know, sir, but I did lead that patrol that Private Wade got his medal for. I figured that ought to be worth something. Sergeant, the fact that you led the patrol has got nothing at all to do with it. Private Johnny Wade got his decoration because I thought he earned it. Many of guys that are tougher than Wade never got any credit for it. I'm proud of you, Johnny. I'm proud of your work. I'm proud of your medal. Maybe brother's a soldier with a medal now. <laughs> well, I don't have any medal. Sitting behind a quartermaster desk, sleeping every night with a king-size pile of blankets. What made you give it up? I pulled you through too many scrapes to let any war catch up with you. What's the matter, kid? Oh, nothing. Just seems like we're always eating in mess halls or chow tents. Always a long wooden table. You know, the first thing I'm gonna buy when this war is over is a small round table. Maybe the top will be made out of uh, unborn calf or something. <laughs> Same old Johnny. Still letting his dreams get him into trouble. <laughs> Say, do you still jump under a bed every time you see someone with a sheet over his head? And then you throw a bucket of water all over him. <laughs> <laughs> that orphanage has the wettest ghost in town. <laughs> Come on, let's go for a walk. A walk? Nobody goes for a walk. <sighs> Man, that orphanage was right smack in the middle of the city. The only thing growing out of the streets were fire hydrants and lampposts. I want to walk in the country. All right, we walk. Rance, you know the ground north of us pretty well. Somewhere around this graveyard, the Germans have an ammo dump. Division wants to know exactly where it is so the flyboys can knock it out. You think you can find it? Yes, sir, I can find it. Excellent. Now, you'll be moving pretty fast, so take two or three men. And you better not count on using Wade. Well, Wade's the best shot we got, sir. I hate to waste him. I can appreciate that, Rance, but I think he's about due for a rest. Maybe some decent chow, if that's possible. For dinner lately? What? Steaks. Steaks? Chops. Chops? Vino and champagne by the carload. Man, it's been lousy. Lousy, are you kidding? No, vino and champagne are all right, but not for breakfast every morning. There's not one bottle of milk in that whole stinking supply depot. Maybe you can take that powdered stuff, but not me, no. Hey, you remember the passion I used to have for milk? You used to bury the empty bottles in the garden. And then the old gals wondered why the pussy willows wouldn't grow. <laughs> I was sure we'd get it that time. What is it, Jerry? What is it? A goat. A goat? <laughs> and it's a nanny goat. You mean there's more than one kind? Didn't I teach you the facts of life once before? Not about goats. Well, that baby is going to give us some milk. Are you kidding? Who ever heard of getting milk from a goat? You got no sense of agriculture. Go around to the right. Stay down and don't frighten her. Hey, why do I have to do all this? What do you mean, why? What am I going to do, shoot her or something? No! If she comes after you, uh, grab at her. Okay. Hey, but she'll hit me with her horns or something. Nanny goats don't have horns. What did you get that medal for, anyway? Not for catching goats. Go on, now.
play milker. Milker? Oh, not me. I'm not gonna milk any goat. What do I do, anyway? Well, you see the milk bag hanging down there in the back? You mean the pink thing? Yeah, I mean the pink thing. And the things hanging down from that are the udders. Now, just squeeze the milk out of one of them. Which one? Either one of them. Hey, it's warm. <laughs> of course it's warm. Gil, somehow this just doesn't seem right. That's enough for now. Oh, man, that's delicious. Here. Ah, uh -huh, not for me. I think powdered milk is pretty good stuff. <laughs> Nice here. Oh. It's almost like a picnic. You know, this war's gonna be fun now that you're here, Gil. One more routine patrol shouldn't hurt a hero like Wade. I mean, I really would like to use him. All right. Who else are you taking? Well, Pratt is uh, a good man on patrol. And I might as well give Evans some experience. Who? For Private Evans, he's a new replacement. Okay, that should do it. Now, Rance, I don't promise anything, but you find that ammo dump, and just maybe I'll talk to your CO about that promotion. Thank you, sir. Actually, for the most part, you shouldn't have any problems, but there's a hot spot. Watch yourself when you get near that graveyard.
hundred yards past that second hill. I seem to remember some machine gun nests around here. Now keep your eyes open. That barbed wire is something new. So must have plenty of ammo up there by now. Pratt, you're first through the wires. Then continue to the crest of that second hill and get an eye for Wade, you cover Pratt. Evans, you're third and I'll cover you. Okay, remember, keep a good distance apart and watch out for machine gun nests. Okay, let's go. These things always get in my way. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Nothing, I'm fine. You better wipe the sweat off your brow so you can line up your sights. I'm all right, I said. Why don't you leave me alone for a while? I can take care of myself. Got your company commander's report on Private Wade's breakdown. Now I want your versions. Did either of you notice anything strange about Wade prior to the action? Yes, no, sir. sir. What did you notice, Evans? Well, he was shaking and perspiring ever since the Jerry's almost jumped us at the graveyard. It was obvious he was sick. And you didn't notice any of this, Sergeant? No, sir, I didn't. If you ask me, Wade was just plain scared. That's a lie. That that ease. Let us down. At ease. We'll have no more of that. Rance, if I'm not mistaken, you were once assigned to an army hospital. Yes, sir. Orderly in a mental ward, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Well, it seems to me that you ought to be able to recognize whether or not a man is about to crack up. Well, most of the men at the hospital were faking, just like Wade. Just because he gets a medal, he thinks the war is over. Rance, I'm telling you, I'm going to take you... That and is. I said it is. Well, Major, what about Johnny? I'll send Wade back to the regimental aid station first thing in the morning. You mean there'll be no charges brought against him, sir? For God's sakes, Rance, Johnny's sick! He's faking! Sergeant! Now, we'll let the doctors decide whether or not he's faking. That's all. You're dismissed. Well, Major, I'd like to talk to you about a personal matter. What is it, Rance? It's about my promotion. No recommendation from your company commander. I know, sir. But I have reason to believe that my captain is prejudiced against me. I know I don't deserve a medal for this last patrol. 
but I still think I deserve my stripes back. Now, don't you think I'd look kind of silly promoting anyone on the basis of that patrol? One man killed, another man cracks up, and to top it off, you never did find that ammo dump. Just because Pratt got killed didn't ruin the patrol. We could still have got that ammo dump if Wade hadn't chickened out. That's something we'll never know, Sergeant. Now, the next time you want to see me on a personal matter, you go through normal channels. Understood? Yes, sir. That's all, Sergeant. Hi. Hi. I'm a new member of your little group. I just hiked in all the way from regimental headquarters. What's your name? Gil Evans. Mine's Wrigley, Sergeant Wrigley. I'm a sergeant because I know how to conjugate a verb. Ask me to do the manual of arms and I'm lost. Uh, these advanced patrols, they're, uh, they're pretty tough, aren't they? I mean, uh, they're getting a reputation for uh, needing a lot of replacements. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Everybody guesses around here. Huh? When a man knows he's in danger, I guess he doesn't like to think too much about it. Ego gives way to self-preservation. Oh, well, that's hopeful. You got a headache or something? I got some aspirin. No. It's my brother. I mean, my friend. I mean, my friend who's like a brother. Oh, he's the one that cracked, huh? How did you know? Well, there's only about 16 guys in the whole outfit. Bird travels around. Oh. You like the army, Gil? No, I don't like the army. <laughs> For what I think about it, I could be shot. I'm a conscientious objector, like a Quaker. Only I have no religion. For that, they said I wouldn't make a very good officer. You know, I'll bet I'd have made a lousy officer. I wonder what's going on in that orphanage head of his. I think he's really sick. He don't eat or talk, and he don't even blink his eyes. Take their shoes off. Kind of discourages them from running away sudden like. He'd have some fancy explaining to do if he were to. Did you read the regulations about things like that? Well, not all of them. <laughs> you just better not let him get away. You'd better behave, crackpot. Or you're going to find yourself in real tough trouble. You'd like to get me, wouldn't you? You'd like to be free for a second. Sonny boy, I don't know whether you can hear me or not, but I'm going to give you that chance to hear me. Free. I'm going to set you free. to fly out of here now. Nothing more you can do for Johnny now. 
He'll be all right. Uh, it's just that I've always taken care of him. He's never been alone in a spot like this before. Johnny! 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 He'll be all right, Captain. It's not that bad. He wasn't too lonely that he couldn't figure out a way to get a knife. All right, Rance. You and Wrigley go out and bring him back. Take Evans with you. I want him back alive if possible. Yes, sir. or twice for him to halt. And if he doesn't, we shoot. We can't go more than three miles from camp. Wiggly, you'll keep checking back with the captain with that thing. Boy, Ranch, you're really going. Let's go. towards the camp. They'll be there in a minute or so. You better call the captain quick. Nesting, this is Night Owl. Nesting, this is Night Owl. Come in.
Hello. Hello. The thing seems to be dead. One day looking for Wade. If we don't find him, then we'll make our way back to the American lines. Who made you the head of this outfit? The captain. The captain's dead! I've got one more strike than you. Gil, I think we better let Johnny take his chance with the jury. He'll never make it! We're not too far from the shoreline. With luck, we can hit the beach by dawn. And then we'll follow it south, hoping to find the American lines. Let's go. Let's go! to the rocks. Let's go. Hast du jemals eine solche verrückte Person gesehen? Nein, er ist verrückt. It's Johnny. Yeah, the hero. Looks like the bush broke his leg. One, two, three. There's another one inside that shack. Benimmt euch wie Männer. Auch wir müssen die Genfer Abordnung einhalten. Schlimm aus, ein Ebenbild des Krieges. You gotta be quiet, or they might shoot Johnny. Well, I say we open fire. We're going down there, and we're gonna get Johnny. Maybe you are. No, wait a minute. Got a point there. Okay, Rance. You stay here and cover the operation. Gil and I will try and keep it down to a quiet nightmare. Now, if 
trouble really happens, then start shooting. At Germans? What's his nose? Johnny! Johnny, it's me, Gil. Johnny, it's me. Everything's gonna be all right now. very popular, Evans. Shut up! Johnny, for God's sakes, don't you recognize me? Johnny all right? Yeah, he's all right. Hey, maybe we'll have to tie him up. Just go away, would you? Please. Sure is psycho, ain't he? Just go away! Come on, That's okay. Take it easy, boy. Come on, now, calm down, boy. It's all right. Now, look, Johnny, I'm gonna let you up. I want you to take it easy. Take it easy, boy. Come on, boy. I thought I'd dump this in the sea. Wait. There may still be somebody around, so watch it. All so tired and jumpy, we shoot at the wind. Well, this place looks abandoned. I'm sure Johnny could use the rest. Yeah, we'll stay tonight here. 
Take turns watching over Johnny. I'll take the first watch. All right. Lance, you and I'll check the area some more. She was fat, lass. You used to always like stray dogs and cats. You always wanted to bring them around to the orphanage, you remember? You remember, Johnny? You'll be all right, kid. I'll take you to these places we used to go to. You remember that field with the, with the sand holes in it? You, these things will help you to remember, Johnny. Come on, kid. Let's rest now. Oh, my eyes are burning. I'm so tired. I gotta get some sleep. for a couple of hours now. I think you might sleep through the night. you're going to remember when the fog clears. Maybe you're not loony after all. Maybe you're smarter than the rest of us. Maybe you're laughing at us right now. Do you remember the tent, Johnny? The knife. The knife. Who gave you the knife, Johnny? <laughs> Don't worry. Because you ain't getting back. The first chance I get. The American bullet. German bullet, who knows, but you ain't getting back.
Too bad I shouldn't stop. What's the penalty for sleeping on guard during war, Rance? Take it away. I'll tie people like you up, not Johnny. Keep your sick minds from infecting those that don't know any better. You sound like a Greenwich Village poet again. I can't think of any poems now. I'm back on the streets of Chicago. Everybody's excited because there's a rumor of a block fight. Then the leader of one group stands in front of the leader of the other group and shouts dirty remarks about the guy's mother or sister. It's basic, Rance. Your mother's got the ugly face of a bulldog, just like you! I'll break your cardboard ribs. Rini almost killed us. Prof, you all right? All right. He went out the back way. Well, come on, let's go after him. You go, Gil. You still got something to look for. I've had it. If you take my advice, kid, you'll let him go. He's done all right for himself so far. We'll all be dead, and he'll wind up president of General Motors. All right, I'll go after him myself. Uh, wait, wait, the sun's be up in a minute. Wait till then. I'm not waiting. Gil, it's not that I don't want to find Johnny. It's just that the odds are too far against it. Yeah, and you've had it. Wait till the sun comes up, and we'll start back. Now you're talking. So still now. I wonder what significance this place has. No spotlight on it. No particular star overhead. Just... Just the place.
Americano? Americano? Americano. Maria. Io Maria. Ma... Maria.
You married, Ranch? No. What about your folks? They still alive? Let's just concentrate on getting back, huh? This place was when it wasn't used for war. Maybe it was a riding academy. Who cares? Somebody had to own it. kid that shot you. I got him. Did he? Did he hit the boy? Yeah. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Oggi non ci sono tedeschi. Assassino, non toccare i fiori. Vengono da Dio. I must be cracking. No, not me. Not me.
Juno soldato from a box. I'm an American. Who else is in there? You are an American? You are an American, and where are the others? I said, who else is in there? Just my little sister. You mean you live here alone with your little sister? No, with my uncle. He's out in the barn. Are you from Brooklyn? What the hell goes here? American swing? You speak good English? How come? Because I was born in America. Knock it off. I was. I was born in Pennsylvania. My father brought us here after my mother died, just before the war started. Where's your father now? You said you were living here with your uncle. Come on now, level with me. My father is dead. The Germans took him away for questioning because he was an American. He never came back. You know what? I don't think you are an American. Where's the chocolate bars and gum, hmm? And you look so mean. You look scared. <laughs> Maybe I got a right to be. Ha! So you've seen some battle action, hmm? You've seen your buddies blown into little pieces. You've been away from home a long time. So that gives you the right to go around hating everyone and everything. Poor little soldier. Listen, Kilroy, see that pile of rubble over there? Well, that was once a beautiful villa. Boy, your flyers started using it for target practice every day. Okay. So, now we live in this rundown place, and I don't like it. But war can be hell for others, too. I'll <laughs> be a son of a... Who would ever have dreamed I'd have found an American girl in the backwoods of Italy? Tell me you've never seen these before. No, not in a long time. Now you sound more like an American. But don't get any bright ideas, hmm? You wouldn't be so hard to take. You're not too bad to look at. What's your name? Rance. Rance. That's a funny name. Listen, give me a minute to get dressed and I'll make you something to eat, huh? How'd you like a hamburger? You're kidding. No, I'm not. Only I'll have to use lamb. It'll be a lamburger, okay? Okay. okay. How about some music? You like to dance? I used to. You have a girl back home? I used to. She couldn't wait. This one's my favorite. It um, kind of does things to me, if you know what I mean. Are you telling me or asking me? Soldiers are the same. They come to destroy, to take, to rape, to kill.
Get out. There's enough killing already. Go. You're right about war doing strange things to us. No one knows that better than I do now. I just hope there's time enough to do the right thing. Incubo della guerra. I'm sorry. Maria? Oh, Maria! Maria? Stai qui. Silenzio, eh? Oggi non mi sento bene. Domani. Morgen sind wir alle tot. Aber heute leben wir. No, 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 oggi. Domani. to me. Can't even hold a rifle. Johnny, you're okay. Everything's gonna be all right now, kid. I've been looking for you all. Just give me your ammo. Hey, you got something pretty nice here, huh? Her name's Maria. Let's just hope there are only two of them out there. What are you gonna do now, John? You stay here. John, don't give her the rifle. Who knows whose side she's on? If the Germans come in here, it won't make any difference.
German over there. were bogged down in southern Italy all through the next winter. But I spent most of that time in the hospital. Johnny finally got a nice long rest. We both got a chance to tour northern Italy in 1944. We saw some more action, but nothing to compare with those routine patrols. As old Prof Wrigley might have put it, when a man's in real danger, well, real danger will bring out the best in some guys and the worst in others. I guess it all depends on the guy. Mm -hmm. 